Hey guys, kumusta? It's Mary and welcome to yet another episode of the Zombie Apocalypse series. My internet right now is having some problems and I don't know what's wrong with it, but I'm not even gonna be surprised anymore because I live in the Philippines and the internet is just worst here amongst other things. But on the last part, I just want to talk about it because it was my favorite to film. We saw Jiwon and also Sojin team up and they were getting a gas can and some gas so that we can finally get out of here and move along but something unexpected happened or rather someone because upon getting here they saw that there's someone else with the group and that someone is a stranger and before we get into that let me just do the comments shout out for the day this one is by boo it's rain honestly thank you so much like i'm so happy that you like this series and i can't wait for you guys to see what's in store for the future because i've actually written down what i wanted to do for this um i just wrote, wrote down a couple of things for the next few episodes and i'm also like yeah it kind of changes because sometimes when i'm filming i just get this um urge that i wanted to change up some things but i just hope you guys are ready for it now if you two would want to get a feature comment down your thoughts theories and suggestions about this episode with three random zombie emojis and i'll choose one random person to feature on the next episode now let's talk about the changes which isn't all that much they're changing out clothes with the little that they have and will also be reusing some of the clothes that they've already used because i've kept a screenshot of items that they're using because i wanted to make it as realistic as possible and guys pantry update we don't have much that's the truth so we really have got to get out of here we also have this but it's broken and none of them knows how to fix a wet laptop because if you guys remembered while going back or like the entirety of their travel it was raining the weather was generally bad and unfortunately it got wet while it was on a backpack so yeah they could have had some use for this like for entertainment but no one knows how to fix a laptop so uh. now they have already talked to her off cam so they have questions of course so she said that her name is Ma Kyungmi. She used to be an office worker at a company and when the zombie infection had spread, she was fortunate enough to find some people who she stayed with and together they've been surviving ever since. It's just that she got separated from them when they were finding some food in a grocery store and a horde of zombies just rushed through them. So basically she was just wandering around for days until she saw smoke that is like coming from this thing and also fire from the wall so she figured that she could probably get help here and she wasn't wrong these two had really pleaded her case and convinced dr chue to give her a chance to just help her because she was banging on the walls and also dr chue was just afraid that she was gonna attract zombies so they just let her in and right here they're just having a conversation he says that hey i'm not trying to undermine my sister or anything in fact i feel proud that she had help someone who was struggling but i just can't get rid of this feeling now dr chue says that's totally normal i get it it's a stranger but we'll look out for the kids right and isn't this what we've always wanted to find more people well she mentioned that she lives somewhere with a bunch of people and maybe they can help us maybe also we can let them know that there's a shelter out there and we can just save as many lives as we can honestly the doctor in him is just showing maybe that's why he also empathized or like sympathize how do you use empathize and sympathize anyways i don't care about that <laughs> as someone who had seen people helpless before he probably could not take it and he would just want to help like he just sprung into action and is this really right can we really do this this moment was supposed to be so cute. <laughs> I hate this game so much. But yeah, he's trying to reassure him that we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Anyways, I have to pee. So why don't you go over there and try to talk to our quote-unquote guest. 
And I saw some of you guys ship Dr. Choi and him, which is like so cute. But basically, they're just talking about where do you live? You mentioned, I heard you mentioned like a group of survivors. Maybe we can help you get back to them. And of course, Kyungi says, oh my gosh, she's so thankful about it. In fact, it's not, yeah, I remember where exactly it is and I can take you guys there. And she says that I'm pretty sure that they will be happy to see some more survivors too. Ben also will be loading up the truck. He's gonna drive it closer so that they have no risk of like getting injured by any zombies. And Somi and also Kiara are tasked to like put this all on their inventory or bags. Because Kumi, Sojin, and also Jiwon have other things to do. So just put this in your inventory. Meanwhile, these three have so much things to do. Basically, they need to clear a path so that they can transfer this one closer here. This is so easy, but like just pretend this took about an hour to do. <laughs> like just pretend. Pretend with me, guys. Pretend with me, guys. Oopsie, almost forgot this one. And what even is this? Can we move this? They're just gonna put it right here. The trash, of course, is gonna be placed here. And we seriously need cars in the game, but just say beep, 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 beep. Okay, we've already attracted the zombies. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. A little bit closer. Yeah, maybe like that. Like, see that? We already attracted one. Okay, everyone, let's all prepare to leave. I almost forgot the plates. And should we take this? I mean, it has helped us so far. So, sure, I guess. The first aid kit, yeah. The TV did not really work, but we have space for it. So, why not? And what else? Oh yeah, there was a cooler that they did not really get to use because they had no use for it, of course. And there was no ice in it. But if we can get, like, ice... So this will be like a good help to us. So everyone, get into the car as quick as you can. This will be over in a second. Yeah, see? They did not even get the chance to blink. Now there's a zombie that they saw. And, and Kiara just goes for the zombie and just throws hands. I almost feel sorry, but deserved. Jiwon was loading up the car all this time. That's why he was not able to see. But as soon as he heard the commotion, and he kind of slides the knife, calling out her name. And when she spots it, she just goes berserk on her. Just straight up. Oh my god. Oh my god. The zombie stopped her. But she managed to pull through. She's like, holy shit. Did I just do that? Yeah. Now let's go. Why am I spending a lot of time on like the most trivial things? I didn't have to put them in a car, but I did because I don't know why. And you know what? My computer actually died five times just to get this right because apparently there's a bug where and if you click like MC Command Center or I don't know, like any one, any, uh, any mod that would like give you or like would take you to like this window thing, it would go black and you can't click on anything. So it was like a big struggle, but I finally got everyone in here. I was almost crying. I almost wanted to give up, but <laughs> finally. And I even had one thing that I got wrong because supposedly Kyumi is supposed to be on the driver's seat. Because Kyumi, of course, was the one to tell us where exactly to go to, but I don't know why he was even here in the first place. Like, oh, what was I thinking? But it's too late to fix it now i don't want to go to build mode because these guys are gonna get they're gonna get resetted because i'm using andrew's post player instead of wicked wins and they're just gonna be traveling why did i spend like this amount of time doing this when i didn't need to Anyway, Kyungmi, he starts just trying to make a conversation. He asks, like, how many are you exactly as survivors? And what have you been doing so far? Now, she says that there are seven survivors. There used to be ten of them, or there used to be ten of them. But earlier, during the week, they encountered a horde of zombies. And unfortunately, yeah, they ate them. How and how we survived? I guess it's the same with you guys looting places, scavenging, and she says the other day we even found some wagyu that we shared. Immediately their stomach started growling because wagyu? Do you mean actual wagyu? And so they are just traveling along until it's already night time. So they kind of get here at this place. And they're so confused because it just looks like it's ruins after ruins. And of course the weather is terrible again. 
also while recording i've been watching tiktoks like in between the takes in between adjusting these sims like that's what i usually do and then and i can't get this song out of my head it goes i'm so stupid in love <laughs> oh my gosh you guys are not supposed to have anything by the way like umbrellas i don't know where we got that so they were literally wondering like what's going on what were we even doing here until this guy just comes rushing in and they just started making out in front of them like these two are like what is happening right now and then it's like what am i looking at yeah you didn't tell us you had a boyfriend uh i don't even know what he is to you a husband she's saying this is actually my fiance and now he tells her that she misses him i mean he misses her so much that he almost died like worrying about her by the way you guys let's all just get inside yeah that's our humble abode for now just get inside it and they're just talking around here they can't really hear them but yeah they've managed to get inside here and i don't think there's no threat whatsoever so they get here and find this honestly it's not that bad it looks like some of the items are even functional too and look this is the only light that they have there's also an upstairs but it seems like they saw the outside so it was probably damaged in some way and as his thanks what he's gonna do is that he's gonna prepare some food for them it says it's not much but i just want to thank you all for bringing my fiance home to me and it's just so convenient because they're so hungry they're so tired they will really settle for anything right now but then they started smelling this really good thing and their stomachs started grumbling even harder and he's saying that just wait you guys won't be too long now until this one cooks and here it is it's a taiwanese beef soup you guys seriously everyone just flocked to it they have not eaten in a while okay all they've been eating is ramen and honestly if it has actual meat in it and not meat from seasoning from the packets and stuff they're already rejoicing look at them <gasps> this is the first meal oh my gosh where is yeah where is i don't know what he's called sojin of course he's eating too like he would not miss this opportunity and his sister just goes here saying okay do you believe me now she's not that bad right yeah sure i guess she's not that bad and um sorry that i didn't believe you the first time you're right after all and look how proud she looks <laughs> she's so proud that she was right and by the way when you were gone actually they told us that we can stay here for as long as we want yeah this could be like the life for us we don't need to go anymore to guanju we're safe here already but are we though <laughs> okay maybe we're not yet safe but maybe we can stay with them for a couple of days all right i guess if they would like to offer us a space then maybe it would work but didn't they say they had a lot of people staying here also speaking of that where exactly are those people she says that who cares i don't know maybe they're somewhere out there on another building but as soon as they come in they actually get told that they can use anything that they want we've got running water upstairs there's even a couple of beds that you guys can borrow and just thought of a bed just brings tears to their eyes like here's this thing that we can just probably clean up somi and even kaori they're both gonna sleep here meanwhile he's getting this one alone because he's the only boy here and also he doesn't mind that it doesn't have uh, like covers he's just the, he's just gonna pretend it does meanwhile these two they don't mind they don't mind there's only one bed <laughs> oh my god i i have a confession yes i wrote the fanfics before <laughs> he's bigger than the bed and boy you should have showered before sleeping but he doesn't mind so they are gonna get their much deserved sleep their much deserved rest they are so cute they think that things are finally looking up for them unfortunately though that is just so far from the truth okay so they did not really haul out their stuff like the cooler and everything else it's still on the car even the groceries are still on the car and that's just the first of their many mistakes unfortunately they have done this to many other people before and today they are the victims so so without their knowledge they even took a selfie what the f oh my god these two are more deranged than i thought but yeah without their knowledge they were already being robbed 
And as soon as they wake up, they would discover that everything's gone. And they are just back to zero. And so guys, I will just be ending off this episode right here. Yeah, they really should not have trusted her, but she was so convincing. Kyumi was just... She had her story ready, okay? And I just know it would break their hearts so much once they woken up and seen that everything that they worked so hard for this past few days was just stolen just like that because of the people that they have trusted. But thank you guys so so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye bye! Good.